Hello everyone, I recently bought a iPhone 12 Pro and I must say I have been so impressed with the quality of the HDR video in particular that now I very often use my phone as my C and sometimes even as my B cam. But as a result I end up having to import wide gamut HDR color file into a Rec. 709 SDR timeline since I do not shoot in HDR neither was my A7S III nor was my Sony ZV-1. And the first time I ever tried to convert an HDR file into an SDR timeline I found it a little tricky. So let me show you how to do just that in Final Cut Pro. Let's start by airdropping an HDR video from my iPhone to my Mac. Notice the HDR on the top left confirming that it is an HDR file. Looks like we are ready to import this in Final Cut Pro. So I have imported my HDR clip into the browser of my Final Cut Pro and now I'm going to add it to the end of my timeline by pressing on the E key. And as soon as I do that, I get a warning message reminding me that I'm adding an HDR clip to an SDR project or in effect mixing two different color gamut and also recommending that I use the HDR tools effect and which is exactly what we're going to do. So I'm going to close this window by pressing OK and then if I go into my timeline and check the clip I just added, we can see that it's way overexposed and all blown out, which is typical of HDR clip that have been converted to a Rec. 709 timeline. So I'm going to go into my effect browser, I'm going to do a search for HDR, and once I found the HDR tools effect, I'm going to drag and drop it onto my clip. Now when we do this, we can see that the image of that clip has already improved quite a bit. But in order to make sure that I have the best base result, I'm going to go into the inspector and in the inspector I'm going to find the HDR tools effect and I want to make sure that I'm in the proper mode. If I open the mode window, I can see that I have six different modes that I can choose from. The one we want in the case, in case of the uh, iPhone 12 Pro is the HLG to Rec. 709 SDR. And the reason we want the SLG to Rec. 709 is that there are basically two transfer functions that allow the display of wide brightness range ADR type video. And that's the PQ system, which stands for Perceptual Quantizer, and the HLG system, which stands for Hybrid Log Gamma. The iPhone 12 Pro is based on the HLG system, and that's why you will get the best result when selecting this mode. Now, if I go down there, we can see that I have a pretty solid base that I can start working on right now. And typically, what I would do is have a few quick color correction. I would uh, lower a little bit the overall brightness lower the uh, brightness of the shadows, increase the mid-tone, and increase the highlight. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. See you soon.